This is a short video showing the interscaling and supraclavicular ultrasound views for blocking the brachial plexus. Generally, it's easiest to start scanning in the supraclavicular fossa, and here we have the supraclavicular view of the brachial plexus. As you can see, the brachial plexus is close to the subclavian artery, the first rib, and the pleura and is often found in a V-shape in this region. To perform the block in the supraclavicular region, first of all, the needle is directed towards the corner pocket, which is underneath the lower trunk, the C8 T1 nerve roots, and then redirected towards the middle and upper trunks with one or two further needle redirections. Scanning cranially, you come to the interscaling view, where you can see the C5, C6 and C7 nerve roots sandwiched between the anterior and middle scaling muscles. To perform the nerve block here, aim between the C5 and C6 nerve roots through the middle scaling muscle. And if spread is adequate, this may suffice, if not, aim over C5 or under C6 to get spread to the opposite side. If you continue to scan cranially from here, you'll see the nerve roots disappear into their respective foramina, which have characteristic appearances. First of all, the C7 transverse process has a large posterior tubercle and absent anterior tubercle due to the vertebral artery. The C6 transverse process has a large anterior or chattanyax tubercle and a small posterior tubercle. And the C5 transverse process is a small bifid-like structure. At this point, you can also see the superficial cervical plexus, which can be blocked here. By scanning back down from this view, we then come back to the supraclavicular view the brachial plexus.